her bright, sunny personality. <laughs> For sure. Yes. Uh, thanks a lot, Eric. You bet. All right, ladies, got to look ahead to sports. Yeah, without a question, one of the biggest Rockets win of the season tonight. They beat Golden State without James Harden. So right. pretty impressive. I'll have those highlights here coming up. Plus, those Cougars just keep on winning. Now 26-1 and after tonight's win. Adam Wexler with more from the game coming up. In their second game back from the All-Star break, an even greater sense of urgency for the Rockets. Tonight facing first place Golden State without James Harden, who is out with a cervical strain. Could they get it done at Oracle Arena? Let's check out the highlights. End of the first quarter here, P.J. Tucker makes the driving layup. The Rockets up 26 to 13. Then before the half, Kenneth Fareed knocks down the jumper and the Rockets lead 61 to 54 at the half. But the Warriors, as they do, come out hot in the third and Steph Curry buries the corner three to take the lead. But this is right at the end of the buzzer to end the third. Tucker with another three. Fourth quarter here, CP3 to Capella for the alley-oop. Chris Paul just phenomenal leading the way for the Rockets, especially in that fourth quarter. 23 points for him, 25 from Eric Gordon, 18 from Tucker, and 20 from Fareed. A balanced attack to beat the Warriors 118 to 112. And the ninth ranked Cougars were hosting South Florida. A first half, a great defensive play from Dejan Giroux blocks the shot. And then it was great ball movement on offense. Corey Davis drops it off with Fabian White, who slams it down. Davis was also getting it done beyond the arc. He finished with 15. Jerome led the team with 17 as the Cougars win it 71 to 59. Adam Wexler has more from the Fertitta Center. Thanks, Lenny. Yes, another win for the Cougars. Their 33rd consecutive at home. Their 11th straight overall. Their 26th in 27 games this season. And again, the main reason they get the best of South Florida. After taking an 11-0 lead, their defense always suffocating. That's as good a defensive team as there is in the country. Not only are they really solid defensively, but they got multiple bodies that can be thrown out at you. You know, I thought the uh, key tonight was our half-court man-to-man defense. I thought it was outstanding. Galen's really good at what Galen does. Dejan's really good at what Dejan does. Now four games remaining in the regular season for the Cougars. A possibility of a 30-win regular season. But first things first, their road date Wednesday at East Carolina. With the Cougars, Adam Wexler, KPRC, Channel 2 Sports. Okay, thank you, Wex. Texas Southern hosting Arkansas Pine Bluff. Eden Ewing with the sweet reverse. And then it's Jeremy Combs on the breakaway here. He throws it down to put TSU up 47 to 36. And the Tigers go on to get the 94 to 74 win. Prairie View also got a win on the road tonight at Mississippi Valley. A welcome interruption from the monotony of camp. The Astros playing their first game of spring training today. They were taking on the Nationals, top of the first, and it's Jake Marisnik who goes yard, gives the Astros the leadoff homer to put them on top one nothing. But unfortunately, the Astros bullpen ruined that. They gave up six runs and they lose seven to six. High school hoops now, 5A regional final over at the Campbell Center. It was Manville and Hightower, another big game from Mackenzie Green. She puts back the offensive board there, but Hightower controlled this one. Winnie Kwimi lays it in. They go on to win it 47-39 to and are now bound for the state tournament. Westside and Summer Creek in the 6A regional final. This one went into three overtimes. Kayla Pilsen kept Westside in it through two, but in the third, Summer Creek pulled away the steal, then Johnson up to Tiana Smith, and Summer Creek advances in this thriller, 72 to 63. You know, I'm not surprised at it at all, though. I know my team, I know what we do, I know what we've done in the preseason to prepare for moments like this, to outlast our opponent, and uh, they did it today, and I'm, I'm very proud of them. So congratulations to them Maybe and Hightower. They're rats. moving on and going to San Antonio. Rats. Exciting. Yeah. Thanks, Lainey. All right, we wrap it up with a quick check of weather. Yes, and tomorrow's forecast, I think, the best of the next 10 to come. Lots of sunshine, temperatures in the 60s in the afternoon. Rain returns Tuesday. Gotta get out there and enjoy it. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.